Well, a tense night in Hudson as city leaders considered a bill to ban guns on city property. More than 200 pro-gun supporters came out to voice their opinions, but as Brandon Lewis explains, flaring tempers left little time for either side to speak. This is not a public hearing. And I will end this meeting now. You could feel the tension inside the Hudson Central Fire Station as the legal committee considered a bill to ban some guns in city buildings. I would ask everyone here at the council that wants to vote for this law to place a sign in their front lawn that says, this is a gun-free home. The meeting was spotlighted after Alderman David Marston sent this email calling gun owners, quote, gun-toting Tea Party psychotards. I would have never wanted this to, to reach the public, and, and I've, I've said that repeatedly. I, 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 I regret it, and I, it's shameful, and I, and, I, and I realize that. The woman who received the email response, Joanne Johnson-Smith, was at the meeting and confronted Marston, but was quickly shut down. You were poking a bear. You got poking that back. That. We're done. A response that angered supporters. Did you buy that at all? No, absolutely not. He accidentally sent out the draft? No. You don't accidentally set out. And you know, it doesn't matter. Even if you accidentally set it out, that's how he feels. Tense moments continued after the meeting when we tried to speak with Alderman John Friedman, who wrote the bill and grabbed the arm and microphone of another reporter. Why are you grabbing my microphone? Why are you putting it in my face? Friedman says he wrote the bill to protect city employees, but many at the meeting didn't buy it. Even the city's attorney cautioned against it. If you pass a law like this, I would suspect you would be sued, the city would be sued, and I suspect we would lose. The committee didn't take any action on the bill, meaning it will be at least another month before it's considered again and remains far from actually becoming a law. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News, Hudson.